Okay. Wait, change the item position. Change the position. Wala na namang kwente yung sinasabi ko. Ang daldal ko na naman. Kalumbot yung aking GoPro. For sure. Sure. Ano na na? Bumubulol ka na naman. Era. So yeah, I've shown you guys some of my travel vlogs and now I was thinking of doing something else. I'm really thinking of what content to put out there, what I want to share with you guys. And right now, I want to share some of the experiences that I had during this quarantine and the lessons I've learned. And a lot of you have been messaging me asking on how to alleviate my anxiety. I will be giving you 10 ways on how to do that. Ito mga tips na ibibigay ko sa inyo. This really worked for me. I am not an expert, but like you guys, I have experienced anxiety during this time. Everything is uncertain. We don't really know when it's gonna stop. We just go day-to-day -day basis. Of course, I'm not sure if it would work for you, but there's no harm in trying. So let's do this. So first, I've been reading some articles. I think it's really normal right now for us to feel anxious, to feel scared, to worry. Kasi hindi talaga natin alam kailan to matatapos, anong mangyayari. But this is our reality right now. The only thing that we can control is how we respond or how we react to it. So first, what I usually do if I'm feeling really anxious, although right now, I just want to share with you that it got better, okay? So by the way, because I just want to make a decision now, I just want to chill lang kaya na kasi pajama tayo. Pero dahil natawa ako pa sadyo mag-ayos, ayan, nag-full makeup na ako para sa future vlogs natin. I wanna share with you guys how I do my makeup, how I curl my hair and stuff like that. Para medyo gamay ako ulit because I used to do that every day and now, pinigibago ko ulit because during quarantine, siguro ang tagal ko na hindi nag-ayos. So yeah, so ayan natawa ako, di ba? Pa, Nag-makeup ako kahit nakapatulog lang ka mo. <laughs> so okay, mabalik tayo sa ways to alleviate anxiety. So first, what I really do is I pause and I take deep breaths. It's a basic thing, pero ang dami sa atin na nakakalimutan talaga kung paano huminga ng maayos. We take that for granted sometimes, but if we just really pause and do deep breathing, do that, after a few seconds, medyo kakalma ka na. But that's an instant solution. You have to become aware and mindful of what you are feeling at that exact moment. Hindi mo siya pwedeng baliwalain because I used to do that. And now that I know better, that didn't really work for me. So, you just really have to acknowledge what you're feeling in that moment. Okay, ito ko ngayon. Ito yung realidad ko ngayon. Kinakabahan ako, natatakot ako, and paano siya mawawala ng mabilisan. So don't mind me. I'm looking at my laptop because I have notes here para wala akong makalimutan na i-share sa inyo. Is first, I do this 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 method. It's a countdown to make your anxiety go away. So the first one, you have to say or notice the five things that you can see para ma-shift yung focus nyo on the things that are around me. For example, five things that I can see right now, I can see my hands, I can see my ring light, I can see my camera, I can see my laptop, I can see my water bottle. So yun, name it and you have to really say it out loud. Four, four things that you can physically feel. I can feel that I'm here, that I'm sitting on a chair, my feet on the ground, the table. Three, three things you can hear. I can hear the sound of the air the sound of the waves, some birds chirping. Two, two things that you can smell. I can smell my coffee, my perfume, and one thing that you can taste. I can taste the coffee in my mouth. By doing that, na shift niyo yung focus niyo, nawawala siya dun sa kaba, sa takot, or whatever anxiety that you are feeling. And that immediately helps you in making that anxiety go away. Second way on how I manage my anxiety or stress, I pray. I talk to God directly. I don't know sa mga viewers natin dyan kung ano po yung religion ninyo. But with me, I don't want to sound preachy, but that's what I really do. I really pray to God. Hindi lang every time na may kailangan ako. If I want 
to just say something and talk to him directly. Kahit nasa na ako, while taking a bath, while doing my daily walk, while reading a book sometimes, Lord, I'm not feeling well today. Tanggalin nyo naman po yung anxiety sa akin. I always pray. I pray for my friends. I pray for my family. And just offer and surrender all of your fears, all of your worries to God. Because God is good. Ilang beses na na napatunayan na He's not gonna forsake us. He's there watching us. And ang gamit ko na ring answered prayers. We just have to believe that, you know, God is really good. He is amazing. And hindi niya tayo pababayaan. So I talk to Him directly. And ang laking ginhawa nun, nakakahinga ka ng maayos. At kumagaan talaga yung pakiramdam ko whenever... I pray to God. Praying really helped me. So third, the third advice that I can give is that you do meditate, grounding, or listen to podcasts. So ano ba yung grounding na yan? Maraming positive energy ang earth. So kung meron kayong grass, or kung nasa tabing dagat naman kayo sa sand, maglakad kayo ng barefoot. 20-30 minutes in a day because may mga positive energy sa earth that has a positive effect on your body. And napatunayan ko rin yun. Basta alam mo walang basagan ng trip. Usan ka naniniwala at kung alam mo nakakalma ka sa mga bagay-bagay na ginagawa ko, do that. I'm all for it. So, ginagawa ko yung grounding. I don't do that every day but if I'm really feeling anxious at that certain moment, I take a walk. I know in Manila right now because I'm staying right now in Batanga sa so Amit's MECQ. By the time that this video will be uploaded, I'm not sure if the MECQ will be extended, but if we're already allowed to go out, because here inside the village, we're allowed to go around, so I can still do exercise, I can still spend time with nature, do that. Grounding, spending time with nature really helped me a lot. I've been staying here since April, and how I think right now, my mindset, it really shifted into something very positive. I can't even fathom na parang I can actually talk like this because it's a long process. It's a long journey. And I'm not this kind of person before. I used to always be so scared. I always tense up. I'm always in fight or flight mode because of my PTSD. And I just want to change that. And nature and salt water really help me a lot. As in, diba, sabi nga nila, salt water heals everything. Sweat, tears, or the sea. So I'm just really grateful to God and grateful to the universe for transforming me, I think, in a way. Because iba yung pakiramdam. I feel lighter, I feel better, and di naman talaga yung goal natin, diba? Gusto natin mapagaan kung ano yung naramdaman natin ngayon. My goal, my life right now, I just really want to find my purpose. I want to be a better person. I want to be a better individual. Of course, I'm still scared. I still get anxious. I have my triggers from time to time, but I'm working on it. I made the conscious effort. I made the decision that what kind of life do I want? I want to shift my energy into something better, something good. I want to focus all my energy into making myself better. I want to have that mindset, to be aware of everything that is happening around me. I just want to be aligned and surrounded with things, with people that would really help me in a good way. So, nandun ako sa estado ng buhay ko na, of course, clarity, peace of mind is a priority. It's not being selfish if you are trying to love yourself more. Because one can't pour from an empty cup. For example, with me, iba iba tayo ng dynamics ngayon. I'm already married. I don't have kids yet, and iba rin yung dynamics, iba rin yung goal for someone like single or with kids. Iba iba tayo nyan. But ako, this is coming from personal experiences, my personal journey during this quarantine. I became more conscious in really knowing what's happening within me and trying to grounding, making effective sa akin. I try to meditate. Ang daming apps out there that would help you meditate. Ang daming podcasts dyan or TED Talks that would make you feel better. Pwede ko na rin isama sa category niyan. Yung grounding, meditating, listening to podcasts, um, listening to music. Music is a huge part of my life. I don't know how to sing, I only know how to dance, but ever since I was a kid, I love listening to music and kasama ko siya sa sobrang saya ko, sa sobrang lungkot ko. And even while taking a bath, I listen to music kasi nakakadala siya ng emosyon and nakakatulong talaga if you want to feel happy, I listen to like a different kind of genre of music, like happy music, EDM or 
90s na mga girl band, Spice Girls, boy bands, mga OPM band. Hindi nyo nakakapagpasaya sa akin. Kung ano yung nagpapasaya sa'yo, do that. So, number four. Find any hobby and make a routine. Like with me, I needed to have a creative outlet. I follow this life coach, si Mel Robbins, on Instagram. During the first part of this quarantine, meron siyang, in this time, it's either you're over-functioning or you're under-functioning. There is no right or wrong way on how you cope or deal with this pandemic. But there are days that I'm over-functioning. Na parang, ay, ang bibo ko today. Gusto ko magluto, gusto ko maglinis, gusto ko mag-vlog, gusto ko mag-picture, gusto ko mag-exercise, and do everything in that day. It's not wrong. It's okay. It's okay to not feel okay every day. Because para sa atin, first time natin itong ma-experience, di ba? Ngayon tayo nakaka-experience ng pandemic. And who would have thought that this would happen? Okay lang if you feel sad at this moment, but okay din naman if you want to keep yourself busy. Kanya-kanya tayo ng time frame and kanya-kanya talaga tayo on how to deal with things and that is okay. Don't punish yourself for that but also, don't dwell on it. Kung after mo natin makaramdam ng lungkot, ng takot, after a while, let's do something about it. So kanina sabi ko over-functioning or isa naman under-functioning. May days talaga and believe me, this happened to me. Especially during ACQ na parang wala akong gustong gawin today. Parang gusto ko lang humilata, gusto ko lang mag-Netflix. Wala rin masama doon. We don't have to compare ourselves to other people. All of us are just trying to survive this time. All of us are just trying to cope with what's happening around us. Ano yung mga hobbies na nagawa ko? I enjoy still doing my exercise. I'm grateful that we're still allowed to exercise around our village. I love taking photos. Kung makikita nyo naman sa Instagram ko, I've been taking photos of flowers, landscapes, ng sky, ng trees. Nakakatulong sa akin yun na malabas ko yung creative side ko at nakaka-relax yung nature. Like recently, I just started vlogging. So this is what makes me busy right now. I'm looking forward to doing it. Even if I'm still nervous right now while we're talking, I'm kind of nervous but medyo kaya naman eh. What else? Like, find a new hobby. Like, learn a new skill. Ano ba yung mga matagal na gusto mo nang gawin? Ang daming online courses right now. Read a good book. Also, another hobby ko. I love to cook. Even before quarantine, I was independent since 18, so I already know how to cook. But right now, I'm exploring other dishes more. I'm trying to cook a different recipe, and it's very therapeutic. I practice creating different looks with my hair, with my makeup. So if that is something that would help you alleviate your stress for a bit, then I'm all for it. Kahit na TikTok, I know a lot of people out there be like, ano ba yan, ginagawa niyo? But you know what, guys? If that what is making you happy right now, and nakakalma kayo doon, go lang ng go. Okay? Go, go, go. Sabi ni Rufa May, guys. Like, another ano ko pa pala. Naging hobby ko rin, I love flowers. I love arranging fresh flowers and dried flowers. Kumbaga, lahat ng maisip ng activity, go lang ng go. Five, working out. Okay? Okay, guys, bago tayo mabash. <laughs> Alam ko, my sister is really hardcore, you know, hardcore sa mag-workout talaga. Me naman, I'm not just doing exercising for the sake of, like, losing weight. Of course, that's also my goal, but I really love to eat. My husband and I love to eat. We bond through food, eating, cooking, and stuff like that. But I still want to move my body. Kasi diba, happy hormones yan. Kapag nag-exercise ka, you feel good, napawas mo lahat. Ang gaan sa feeling. So I tried different workouts. I used to do boxing. And then now, I still love spinning class. I have my bike here with me. And I love walking. I do 10k steps, walk every other day. And it's also my me time for me to like really think about things, to reevaluate my life, to reassess my life, to discover more about myself. And ang sarap sa feeling na kapag exercise ka. So kahit sa condo nyo or sa bahay nyo, just find a small area. There are a lot of online courses also that are free. You can do yoga, you can do Zumba. Basta gilaw-galaw natin yung katawan natin kasi feeling ko, lalo na before, if I'm not moving, sumasakit yung lower back ko, instant kagad yun. Like after exercising, you really feel better. You know what? It would really manage your mood. And also while exercising, if you have like an extra space kung may terrace kayo, get some sun sunshine and fresh air. It would really, really help a lot. Diba pag yung mga babies, diba kailangan pinapaarawan sila? So, kailangan mo rin yun. But of course, if you're not allowed to go outside, then syempre, we have to follow the protocols. Pero if we're allowed again, do that. Okay, so the sixth way, 
It's journaling. Like what I always do, I start and end the day with gratitude. Vino voice out ko siya. I also write it down in my notes. Just list the things that you are grateful for. In this uncertain times, there's a lot of negativity going on. I try to dwell on the good things. Kahit gaano kasimple. It doesn't matter if it's a big thing or a small thing. Like for today, I'm grateful for the sun. Because after one week, finally lumabas na siya. I'm grateful for the plants, for the trees, for the birds that are chirping every day. Because the sound of that is very relaxing and very therapeutic. I'm grateful for the food that I'm eating right now. I'm grateful for my husband. I'm grateful for my head. Kahit ano, there's always something to be grateful for. Alam ko na hindi naman ganun kadali yan. Parang baka sabihin nyo, ang dali lang yung sabihin or like that. Pero for me kasi, if I focus more on the bad things or on the negative things, it would really manifest in my body physically. Because I used to always worry I used to always think about the negative stuff. And the more I think about that, yun yung na-attract mo. And ayaw natin yun, guys. Diba? Believe me, guys, I had my fair share of na talagang you are sad, you are so scared. That depression, I've been through that. I've experienced that. And now, I don't want to go back to that. Because it's not a good feeling. I try, I struggle every day. It took me a long time. Time. It's a very long process and mahirap siya. But now that I'm past that, lahat ng bagay malalagpasan natin. Lahat ng bagay magagawa natin ng paraan. If we made that conscious effort and decision, if we have like a different perspective in life, if we just shift our energy into something good, magiging maayos tayo, our way of thinking and all of the aspects sa buhay natin, magiging mas maganda at maayos. So I really made a conscious effort to like, okay, I don't want to be scared all the time. I don't want to feel depressed. I am more than my anxiety. I am more than what I'm feeling. So, ito yung mga ginagawa ko para talaga matulungan ko rin sarili ko. Because I just really want peace of mind. I want clarity. And now, I know that I'm in a better place. But it's a struggle every day. But I'm making that conscious effort para I will be the person that I want to be. Diba? Siyempre, yun naman yung gusto natin lahat. Gusto natin maayos ng buhay. We want to be a better individual, a better friend, a better wife, a better person. So, let's do that. So, besides, so pala sa pagsasabi ng mga things that you're grateful for, just journal everything that you wanna say. The things that you're feeling at that moment, the lessons that you've learned, everything. And just pour your heart out. And that would really help as well. Okay, so seven. Limit time on socials and group chats or watching news. Okay, guys, it's nice to stay informed, but don't be obsessive about it. Because sometimes it's really overwhelming and iba-iba tayo ng pagtanggap eh. May iba na mas na-apektohan. Like with me, not just with the news. I really get affected easily. My healer told me that I'm an empath because I can easily absorb energies. Tsaka malakas yung gut feel ko. At hindi nagkakamali yung gut feel ko. For some weird reason. Or it's a blessing and a curse. I really get overwhelmed easily. So, of course, I still want to be informed with what's happening right now. But I don't really check everything. Like, for example, this day, you're really feeling overwhelmed. Siguro in a day, I won't check my phone. Or like, kahit sabi ko, three hours now, five hours. Because the more that I think about what's happening, I know, ang magiging effect sa akin, kakabahan na ko lalo, mas matatakot ako. Eh, bakit ko pa siya masyado tatakotin yung sarili ko? Oh, dami nangyayari, lalo ngayon. The cases are rising, so it's really scary. It's a scary time. But I don't want to dwell on that. Kasi mas lalo ako kakabahan at gumanifest nga yung physically, manginig ako, or my heart will move faster. And... I want to control that. Kasi ako rin yung mahihirapan. Diba yung mga kasama ko sa bahay yung mahihirapan if I'll be anxious. Yung dynamics naman, like for example, here I'm with my husband. I don't want him to stress about me being anxious again because magkaiba kami ng on things how we perceive other stuff. So, less stress. I mean, okay kami. I'm trying to do all of these things for me also and for my husband. It doesn't mean na binabaliwala mo kung ano yung nangyayari. It's just that you're prioritizing your overall mental health. We have to take good care of that. Hindi lang yung physical body natin. I mean, right now, we're dealing with a lot of things. So, mental health is important. Just try to focus on the things that you can control. 
how you respond to the news. Walang masama to take some time off. Kasi, syempre, gusto mo nalagaan yung sarili mo. You have to practice self-care and self-love. So, eight, have a support system. Friends that would really check on you. I'm just really grateful that I have friends, especially during the ECQ. Yun yung time na talaga lahat tayo. Ano nangyayari? Everything was stopped. Everything was put on hold. So, I'm grateful for the few friends that I have that they really check on me, they FaceTime with me, they do Zoom with me, and iba yung may mga kaibigan ka na karamay. All of us are going through a lot of things, but the fact that they're making time for you, they're making an effort, and I want to reciprocate that energy because I super love my friends. I'm really grateful for them, and I'm the type of person that if you're like that, I would give more than 100% of myself. Lalo na nung ECQ, kasi talaga ang grabe. Grabe yung anxiety ko nun. I would wake up abruptly in the middle of the night, and then my heart would just beat faster, and it start to papalpitate lang siya, and then ngayon, tagal ko nang hindi nakakaramdam ng gano'n. And iba yung pinakakausap ka. You have to really surround yourself with positive people, with friends who would help you out that have your back as well. And you know, it's just easy to communicate with everyone right now. And thank God for technology dahil kahit pa paano, you know, para may sense of normalcy. Although, hindi pa rin siya normal do. Kasi iba yung personal na interaction. But kahit pa paano, naibsan talaga yung takot, yung kaba. And seeing familiar faces really helps a lot. I'm grateful for my friends. Thank you guys so much. And yeah, we got this. So, number nine. Okay, malapit-lapit na tayo matapos. So, number nine. Help other people in any way you can. Bakit ko siya nasama? There's a really nice feeling when you're helping other people. Kahit gaano kaliit yan, kahit gaano kalaki yan, as long as you're helping another person, it feels good. For example, right now, ano ba yung mga bagay na pwede ko magawa? Lot of people are sending us stuff, sending us food. The least thing that I can do is to promote that product properly. Some small business owners would send us food. Since I love creating short videos na, I take videos, I take photos of that, and I post properly like all the details of that small business. Kasi sa panahon ngayon, tayo-tayo lang naman yung magtutulungan. During the first part of the quarantine, my husband's company, they donated some PPEs, face masks, alcohol. And kung hindi naman natin kaya gawin yun, syempre, lalo na ngayon, it's either working from home, ang daming namawal ng trabaho, and we can help financially. There are other ways on how you can help. Walang maliit or malaking bagay. This year, don't think about earning money or anything. It's for just surviving. We're all on survival mode right now. And in any way you can, if you have extra, I don't know, like, kung hindi man monetary, by just supporting small businesses, donating face masks or anything, let's do that. So, magtulungan po tayo. Hindi natin alam kung hanggang kailan to, but isa sa mga magagandang way yun para ma-focus natin yung energy natin sa mga ibang bagay. And I always say that on my Instagram. Let's help one another. Okay, so now, nasa number 10 na tayo. Yes! Alright, so ito, yung mga nasabi kong iba, pwedeng for short term lang. But this one, I think, mas matagal yung maging effect niya. Just be mindful. It's more of a long-term solution. You just really have to be mindful of everything that is happening around you. Make a conscious effort and you really have to decide that you really want to change how you feel because even if you keep on reading articles, if you're not decided, if you're not aware enough na, okay, gusto ko mabago yung mindset ko ngayon, nothing would happen. Even if your parents or your friends or family would always give suggestions, help you out, give you advice. But if you're not doing anything about it, nothing would happen, right? So decide for yourself, what kind of life do I want? Do I want to feel like this all the time? And take time to talk to yourself. Yung mga iba kasi parang, ah, baka baliw yan. No, it's not. Kung yung mga kaibigan nyo nga, guys, diba? Kinakabusta nyo. So, ba't hindi mo kabustahin yung sarili mo, diba? Ask yourself, what are you feeling right now? What do you want to learn from this situation? What do you want to discover in yourself? What's your purpose? So, ang daming 
time for us to really think, re-evaluate, and reassess our lives. So take time to check on yourself and really ask how you are. Kasi ikaw lang din talaga makakasabi niya. Just to make time to get to know yourself better. Diba nga kung ang plans, oh para, ito, uso to ngayon sa mga plan tito at plan tita. Diba kung may mga plans kayo sa bahay niyo, sa condo niyo, o kung saan man, pinidiligay niyo siya. Diba? Para tumubo, para hindi mamatay. Kung ang plans nga kailangan ng ganyan, guys, what more ikaw? You have to check on yourself kasi ano ba yung kailangan mo ngayon? Ano yung kulang? Ikaw lang nga makakakilala sa sarili mo. Diba? Nagka-flourish ang leaves, ang plants, ang trees, ang flowers, and everything else. If you water them, diba parang bad? Battery rin yan ang cellphone, guys. Nalulubat din yan. Kailangan mo i-charge. So, ikaw, bilang tao, guys, kailangan i-charge mo rin yung sarili mo. You have to put good things. Kailangan mong i-shower yung sarili mo ng mga magagandang bagay. Kung hindi, girl, malalanta rin tayo. Hindi tayo lagi masaya. Like with me, ha, even if I'm saying all of these tips, hindi ako everyday happy. There are days also when I feel sad. That's okay. But tanggap ko yun. I'm at peace where I am right now because I know that I'm acknowledging everything that I'm feeling. And take this time to nourish yourself, not just physically, but emotionally and spiritually because you are important. Hindi mo kailangan maghintay sa mga tao na sabihin na you are enough, that you are worthy, but you are. I will tell you right now, you are worthy. You are enough. You are worthy of the good things that will happen in your life. You are deserving of good energy, of genuine love. You are worthy of being surrounded with so much good things, with people that would really love you. So you have to affirm that. Talk to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Acknowledge what you're feeling. And from that, sobrang gagaan yung feeling mo. It's a long journey. It's a long process, like what I've said. Pero kung yung mindset mo pa lang, dun pa lang panalo ka na. Kung meron ka ng dedication at thinking na, okay, I want to manage my stress. I want to alleviate my anxiety. So, with that, everything else will go into place. Mag-start tayo dun, di ba? At sya ka ngayon, we're learning so much about ourselves, about our environment, about our surroundings, about our family. Kasi minsan sa iba't iba naggagaling yung factors kung saan tayo na anxious. It could come from the people you're quarantined with. Kasi syempre, like with me, and dynamics naman sa bahay. I have our staff here. I'm quarantined with my husband. Hindi naman din everyday okay kami, di ba? Realistically speaking, marriage is not all about rainbows and unicorns. Of course, we have some arguments, misunderstandings, and minsan doon ako na-anxious, doon ako na-stress. But you know what? This is your time to make things right, to really compromise with each other, fix whatever that is, and after ko maglahad, okay na ako. Or you really really have to work things out and make that conscious decision that you want to be surrounded with positivity, right? So, kanya-kanya lang tayo ng pag-deal, ng pag-cope, walang tama or mali. Kung ano yung nag-work sa'yo, go for it. As in, go lang ng go. I think nasabi ko na rin halos lahat. I will just say it again. So, the 10 things or the 10 ways on how to alleviate stress. The first one is pause and take deep breaths. Breath. Second would be pray. Third would be grounding, meditate, listen to music and podcast. Fourth would be find any hobby and make a routine. Di ba may tinatawag na tayo ngayon na quar routine? Di ba? Your routine mo during this quarantine. Fifth is working out, exercise. Sixth is journaling. Seven is limit your time on socials and group chats and watching news. And then eight, this is also very important to have a support system. And nine, this would make you really feel better. Help other people in any way you can. Walang malaking bagay, mali. Just help in any way. And of course, then, we have to be mindful. So, yeah. Guys, I'm really praying for you. This is a tough time we are in right now. But, kaya natin to. Lahat tayo magtutulungan. Like what I always say, let's keep on surrounding ourselves. No matter how hard it is. No matter how tough it is. But, let's try to look at the brighter side of things and just always be grateful and thankful and surround ourselves with so much positivity and of course you also need to send that to other people because diba may kasabihan nga if you keep on releasing good energy into the world to the universe good things will also happen to you and that's the law of attraction and yeah 
just continue being compassionate, being empathic, and ang dami ko na nasabi. Masyado na mahaba tong video, guys. And please, please stay safe. And God bless you all, guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, especially if you have family or friends who might need this. It might help them in a way or another. So thank you, and comment below. So kung ano pa yung mga gusto niyo mapanood na vlogs, or if this video helped you in a way, or kung gusto niyo pa na mas maraming ganitong types of video, message na lang ako, guys. And yeah, let's keep on sharing positivity, love, and light. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye!